Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today's video is a product review of a Saker grease gun coupler. Um, I've been looking at these for a while and actually the manufacturer reached out to me um, and asked if I would do this video for them and I said sure. I've been looking at them, it's something I would actually use here. So, but I'll only do it if you'll send me two of them and I will give one away to one of my viewers. So watch the whole video and I'll explain how you can uh, be the winner of, of one of these and try it out for yourself. Now, I didn't want to start doing product reviews and things like that unless it was something I would actually use. So this is something I really actually have been looking at and am very interested in giving a try. So let's check out the product. Okay, so here it is. The Saker Grease Gun Coupler Lock. And, I mean, first look of it, it's, it's pretty well built. Um, it's pretty, pretty stiff spring on there. Um, probably hard to see, but um, looks like it's pretty decent built. But the only problem I see is that is a standard grease gun coupling. So size-wise, it's huge. Um, but let's, uh, let's get this thing on a grease gun and, and give it a try. Now the grease gun I'm using here is uh, just a standard grease gun from that worthless and awful and horrible store, Menards. Because quite honestly, it's all we have around here. And uh, I would kill to have a Home Depot or a Lowe's or anything other than Menards. Um, they're just by far the worst. So we're going to give this thing a try. And, and there's my product review of Menards. The worst and the worst. Um, and the only reason I'm going with a, a rigid pipe on this one is because of where I'm going to test this. I need the the rigidity, but also for the fact that we have a Menards and they didn't have any hoses in the store. So this is what we're going to use. Now this is the grease I use and I've been using this stuff for years and it pretty much can't be bought anywhere but through Militech um, by the case. Um, they, they do sell through a few um, gun parts dealers, but uh, I've been using Militech for a lot of years and, and this has been some incredible grease. Um, it's a little more spendy, but I absolutely love the stuff. So if you're looking for a good quality grease, this is the stuff to get. Okay, so we're all set up here. Um, now, I bet you're all expecting me to grease stuff around the shop, but you know, I'm gonna go out and grease something more important. My high rail truck. So we're gonna start back here on the linkages on our rear high rail gear. And it looks like in order to get to them easily, I'm gonna have to drop the gear. Um, so we'll go ahead and start the truck and uh, lower the gear. So we've got multiple Zerks under here. Here's one here. We got some inside a little divots here. Um, I'll have to get a little screwdriver to clean those out good. But the claims of this uh, grease coupling is that they don't leak. They lock on, they, they do the job well. So let's uh, put it on this one and see what happens. And you just pull back, slide it on, and it looks like it, it locks on nicely. And the only grease that was there was from me, you know, originally pumping the thing up. Now, I'll go get a little screwdriver, clean these out, and we'll give it a try in, in these recessed ones. Now, 
Now this is the only spot that I feel this might not work well. Uh, just kind of based on the size of it. But we'll get this cleaned out and we'll stick it on there and see what happens. Yep, and there's the problem. It uh, is actually too big to fit on the recessed ones that I have on here. So that's, that's a major drawback of this thing. Um, so let's, uh, I'll use the other grease gun to get that one. Um, there is one more Zerk back here that's difficult to get at and we'll put it on there and see how that one goes. Okay, so our other Zerk is down here and it's tight to the, it's a 90 degree one, it's tight to the, or close to the body of the, the gear. But we might be able to get on that one. And I know a flexible hose on this might help a lot, but like I said, we have a Menards. That's what we have. So getting supplies is... And I did have a little leakage. I must have been at a, quite an angle there, but just because it's hard to get at, but it seemed it did push grease in, so that all looks good. Um, other than the one Zerk up here that it just could not get on it because it's in a recess, just because of the sheer size. So for these, I'm just gonna use the standard gun that I keep on the truck. And this side is all greased up. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll finish greasing up the truck and then we'll talk about how you guys can win one of these. Uh... So one advantage I see of the locking one is that it releases. Now this, <clears throat> the old style actually gets stuck pretty easily and the, the new style, the locking one, you can release it and it easily comes off, which is pretty cool. So. We'll see if I can find one Zerk though that's really a problem and, and we'll give that a try with the, the locking one. So this is a res recessed Zerk too and as you can see it doesn't lock on. Um, so that's a major, major problem with this thing, um, unfortunately. And you know, it, this is not gonna work for universal joints. There's just no way you can get in on a universal joint. Um, but everything else it looks like you can pretty much get at, so shouldn't be a problem. In fact, right here is a steering universal joint and I don't see any way of getting this thing on there. Um, it's just too big, too bulky. Um, so th it has its applications. Uh, there's a lot of great applications I can see, but on things like tight quarters and stuff, this, this is just not going to work. So all in all, I see a lot of great applications for this and I, I do see its benefit, um, but not in a truck service setting. Um, I just, it, it's so many, so many places that it won't fit. Um, but maybe on more heavy equipment, that's, it's possible, but there's a lot of recessed fittings on that stuff too. So it's, it's hard telling. I, I'm gonna play with it some more, but I do feel that it's a worthwhile product to own. Um, and I'm glad I didn't have to buy it, but now on to the contest. So for the contest, this is my shop built circular sawmill. I built this mill entirely here in the shop and there are a lot of bearings on here, uh, a lot. Um, it's pillow blocks and, and uh, flange bearings and just there's a lot of moving parts on this mill. Um, you know, between the carriage, the sawdust auger, the outfeed table, the carriage drive, the husk, uh, there's a lot here. So, the first subscriber that comments below in the comment section with the correct number of grease cirques that is on the sawmill will be the winner. Now, that does not include the, the uh, manure spreader that we use or the PTO shaft itself hooked to the tractor, just the mill. So the sawdust auger, the outfeed table, the track, the carriage, the husk, just in there alone. So you can go back and watch my other videos of the sawmill in action and maybe you can get a count that way or just make a, a, a good rough guess. But uh, the first person to get the guess correct, the correct number, 
will be the winner of the Saker Grease Gun Coupler. So again, like I said, this, I do feel it's a worthwhile product to own for some applications. I can see the, the release side of it and the locking side of it, um, but the bulkiness of it is, is really a problem for a lot of the stuff I have here and a lot of stuff I do. So um, again, still worthwhile product to have and they're not horribly expensive. I just set up one grease gun for that and another grease gun with the regular fitting and you should be good to go. So there you have it, the Saker grease gun coupler locks. And don't forget, in order to win, comment below with the number of grease zerks on the shop built sawmill. And you can check out those videos and kind of get a count from the videos in the sawmill playlist. And but comment the number below. I will contact you probably in a comment. Um, I will reply to your comment if you're correct. And I will do a short video on Thursday just to announce who it is, who is the winner. And I will ship this to you. But you have to be a subscriber and you have to comment the correct number of grease cirques. So with that, the crappy Menards grease gun, it did okay. And, uh, but in all in all, I, I would definitely own one of these but I definitely see disadvantages to its size and everything. And we didn't get to test it to its full, full potential. Um, it's rated for 14,000 pounds, um, this crappy Menards grease gun. I hate Menards if you haven't figured it out. Um, it's only good for 4,500 and we didn't have a Zerk that we could get on that I knew would be a problem because they were all in recesses. So in app certain applications, they're great. This will be a great addition to the shop in some applications it's just not gonna work. Um, but all in all, I would still buy one myself. So until next time, and until we announce the winner, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.